acknowledgement. Yes. Nothing kills a rapper's career as fast as the title of a snitch. Exhibit A, 69. But now it seems there is another rapper who's ready to take this title. Young Thug and his YSL Fellows case is currently the hottest topic in the hip hop world. However, the case took a weird turn a few days ago when Gunna got released while Young Thug and the other guys have to wait for trial. For many, it wasn't hard to crack why Gunna was released. The common thought is that he snitched on Young Thug and got a free pass. Watch the complete video to see how the rappers have reacted to the news of Gunna getting out of jail. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you would like to join this month's Star 5 giveaway of a brand new iPhone, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! A recap of the YSL case. In 2016, Young Thug founded a record label called YSL, which the opposition is calling just a front for the YSL street gang. His lawyer has said that Thug's YSL is an abbreviation for Young Stoner Life, but the prosecutors seem to think otherwise. According to the court, Thug is using this music label as a way to recruit young naive rappers like Gunna, who he would then use in his crime ring. Gunna's most popular track, Push and P, was released under the YSL label. His close association with Young Thug also made police think he was actually Young Thug's right-hand man in this crime ring. They were charged with drug possession, aggravated assault, and armed robbery. All of the 28 members of YSL have been in jail since May of 2022, and since then their bail requests have gotten denied three times. This is why when the news of only Gunna being released came out, a lot of eyebrows were raised. Rappers who congratulated him A few artists celebrated Gunna's coming back home. Those who welcomed him via tweet were Kid Cutie, DJ Scheme, and Jack A. These rappers had nothing but only nice things to say about Gunna's release. Kid Cutie tweeted, Welcome home Gunna! Jack E. tweeted, Gunna's home! Why Gunna being free is the end for Young Thug. Gunna only got out of jail because he pleaded guilty to all the charges against him. Part of his statement hinted that YSL is indeed a crime syndicate more than a music label. However, he cleared himself by saying that when he joined it, he didn't know much about the activities they were involved in. This statement directly hurts the defense of Young Thug, whose whole lawyer is just saying that YSL is just a music label, nothing else. In his long Instagram clarification, Gunna said that he only ended his own case by using Alfred plea and didn't say anything about anyone else. But many rappers who themselves have faced some kind of criminal allegations are suspicious of Gunna and they're not shy to show it. Rappers who called him out. However, other rappers like 6ix9ine, Boozy Badass, and Freddie Gibbs had a different reaction to Gunna being released. They were sure that Gunna had given information to authorities and got himself out of prison. Many of these rappers see Young Thug as a real rapper whose chances of winning the trial have now become slim due to Gunna's release. Boozy was the most vocal about this whole situation. He called Gunna a rat and said his brother Young Thug would face the consequences of his actions. Boozy tweeted, Rat, this would have put tears in my eyes. Oh my brother, my artist like what the F am I fighting for my life? that I'm not running a gang criminal enterprise, and you do this to Big Dog? You know what's a gang, the guns and drugs not yours? Well, who else was in the car that they can be for? Shake my head. In his second tweet, he said, He had one charge. He wasn't going to get no hard time. These lawyers don't give a damn about your legacy. They know what they're doing to your name, but that getting you out of jail so that their name blows up, then you gotta pay them more when you free, and they made you cooperate? It's a cold game. One rapper whose reactions have become a guilty pleasure for many is Takashi69. People were waiting for his response since Gunna got out. Well, 6ix9ine didn't disappoint instead of simply calling him out. He went a step further and uploaded a video where he is voicing behind Gunna and simply throwing Thug under the bus. 6ix9ine wrote on Twitter, In the video, you can see the fabricated interaction between Gunna and the judge. The video shows a judge asking Gunna, YSL is a music label and a gang, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in the furtherance of the gang? 
To which he replies, yes, ma'am. YSL as a game must end. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. The judge then asks, you were present when law enforcement officers stopped the vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, young thug, where hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you? Gunna answers again, yes, ma'am. In his caption, 6ix9ine wrote, Just STFU and listen, I know you don't want to accept it. Your man is fighting for his life in court on a gang Rico while referring to Gunna as a fat-ass Gunna. Go ahead and make your million excuses, he added. I stand on whatever I do or did. That's why I'm still walking on this earth and nothing ever happens to me. I am him P. Real n getting shot and kicked in their face. Can't be me. Another rapper who couldn't help but react was Gunna's nemesis, Freddie Gibbs. He reacted with multiple condescending tweets about Gunna. The tweets were, I hate to say I told you so. I prayed for this day. Everybody screaming, gang, gang, gang. Rap full of snitches, so y'all gun welcome this with his open arms. Push and plea. Well, after Gunna pled guilty, fans couldn't help but think about what will be the result of Young Thug's trial. The RICO charges have been long used for putting rappers behind bars, and many fear that this time Young Thug won't be able to escape easily. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below, do you think Gunna really snitched on YSL to get out of prison? Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.